This is a really awesome question. And what we get asked is seven kilograms of carrots, five kilograms of tomatoes costs four pounds 80. The cost of one kilogram of carrots to one kilogram of tomatoes is in the ratio five to nine. What we need to do is find the cost of one kilogram of each of carrots and tomatoes. Well, first, first things first, I would like to do this question using ratio, and then after that, we'll do it using some algebra. And the reason what we're gonna go for ratio is because it's a really nice visual way to see what's going on. So first of all, one kilogram of carrots to one kilogram of tomatoes is five to nine. Let's draw a picture of this ratio. So carrots can be over here. This is our five. So I'm gonna draw five boxes in a bar model. One, two, three, four, five. That's our five for carrots. For our tomatoes, we need to draw nine. This is where it's slightly more difficult to draw. A good bar with nine, maybe slightly longer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. My bar models aren't perfect, but what should happen here is each of these boxes should be exactly the same size. So one box here is exactly equal to one box here. That's the whole point of ratios. Well, what we do next then, we've drawn that picture of five to nine. And next, we're gonna use this information because what these represent is one kilogram of carrots, one kilogram of tomatoes. If we use the top line, well, we've got seven kilograms of carrots. So what we're going to do is take this one kilogram and multiply it by seven. The reason I love this method is it's so visual. You see the one kilogram multiplying by seven to make an array, and let's see how that looks. So what we need to do is extend this. We need to add, we've got one row, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So when we make it something like this, let's add in our rows. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And when we extend our vertical lines down, one, two, three, four, five. If we count all of these up, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 squares in total. At this point, you can probably see where this method is going. So we've got 35 here. Let's write down 35. I'm going to put a ratio sign ready for when we get there later. What this represents is from our base of just one square, or five give us how many of those base units are one kilogram of carrots. Multiply it by seven gives us our 35 in the whole seven kilograms of carrots. Now let's think about our tomatoes. One kilogram of tomatoes was nine, so for five kilograms of tomatoes, well, we want to multiply this row by five. So let's do that. Something like this. Two, three, four, and five. And when we extend these lines down, six, seven, eight, and nine. Well, at this point, we've got another really nice visual explanation of what's going on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in one kilogram of tomatoes. We've got five kilograms though. So one, two, three, four, five. Five times nine gives us a total of 45 squares. Oh, great. This looks like something we can use now. The whole ratio then from our base is 35 to 45. And what do these add up to in total? Well, it's four pounds 80. So thinking then, our total number of squares, 35 add 45, we could do this over here. 35 add 45 gives us 80. And 80 of those squares add up to four pounds 80 in total. 
So what we need to think is if 80 give us four pounds 80, what would one square give us? So we need to do four pounds 80 divided by 80 to find the value of one square. So let's try that then. We've got four pounds 80 divided by 80. That should give us six pence. I'm just changing my units from pounds to pence because it makes a bit more sense for this part. Four pounds 80 divided by 80 is six pence. That tells us each of these one squares represents six pence. Well, if we think back to the start here, we knew that one row was the price of one kilogram of tomatoes and one row here was the price of one kilogram of carrots. So let's fill in our bar models or now our arrays with that new knowledge that each square is six pence. So six, 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 six. We can see for sure then that our original one, two, three, four, five, that represents 30p. That tells us that one kilogram of carrots is worth 30p. And then doing the same thing for tomatoes, six, 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 six. Well, we've got nine lots of six pence. So what this tells us is that one kilogram of tomatoes will be 54 pence, nine times six. Okay, welcome back to Tomatoes and Carrots, the sequel. And in this part of the video, I've written the question a bit more concisely. Seven carrots plus five tomatoes equals 480 pennies. One carrot to one tomato is five to nine. Find C and T. First part of this, of looking at the question this way, is going to be us being really clear about two variables we've got. So to start off with, we want to say, let x represent, x and y are going to be our new variables because they, they make us think about graphs a bit more easily. So let x be one kilogram of carrots, just put one kilogram of C. So x is the cost of one kilogram of carrots and we're going to let y be the cost of one kilogram of tomatoes. We've shifted to x and y then. And this gives us quite naturally then some equations that pop out of these two. Well, this tells us seven carrots, five tomatoes, 480. So in terms of x and y, seven x plus five y equals 480. Well, actually, we would like to write this in the form y equals mx plus c. We'll see why a bit later, but let's just do it for now. So 5y moving our 7x to the other side, we'll get minus 7x plus 480. And then dividing through by five, we should get y equals minus seven over five x plus 480 divided by five gives us 96. So it should be plus 96. This is super, super important for us, this equation. So I'm going to put a ring around it so we remember it for later. Very important. We've also got another equation then that really naturally comes out of this ratio. And if you think about how ratios and fractions link together, we have this kind of cross multiplying that goes on, where if one carrot to one tomato is five to nine, what we can say is multiplying this side by nine would give us 45 parts of our ratio. This part multiplied by five also gives us 45 in our ratio. So what we could say actually is that nine lots of C equals five lots of T. 
like 9 times 5 is the same thing as 5 times 9. And shifting this into x and y, because that's how we want to do it, 9x is equal to 5y. And dividing through by 5 then, I'm going to put the y on this on the left hand side because it just looks a bit nicer. We will get y equals 9 fifths of x. Also a really, really important equation then, and we're going to put another ring around this one to just remember it for a little bit later. These two are going to give us some interesting information when we combine them together. But first of all, let's imagine how this actually looks. So we'd like to draw a graph with y equals 9 fifths x and y equals minus 7 fifths x plus 96. So let's draw that graph. So I'm just going to draw the positive quadrant on my graph. And the thinking behind this is that obviously x and y have to be positive. You can never have a negative price for a kilogram of carrots. So y and x. And a quick bit of thinking about how these graphs will look then. y is equals 9 fifths of x. This is the y equals mx plus c, a straight line. The y-intercept is 0 and the gradient is 9 fifths. So it looks something like this. y equals 9 fifths of x. And when we draw our other line, it's got a negative gradient of minus 7 fifths, and it's got a y-intercept of 96. So we can mark this point on there as 96. And the gradient being negative means we have something like this. Okay, there are two lines. What's really, really important about this graph is our one key point of interest, and that's where the two lines meet each other. So we get an x coordinate and a y coordinate where those two lines bump into each other. What that actually tells us is this is the only point, because they're only going to meet once, they're two straight lines. It's the only point on this graph where y is 9 fifths of x and y is minus 7 fifths of x plus 96. In other words, there's only one combination of prices where these two things are true. 7 carrots and 5 tomatoes are 480 and the ratio is 5 to 9 between them. So we need to solve these two equations together to find the point that they meet. Probably our best way of doing this is substituting this one into here. And that's because, look, we've got y equals y equals. It should be easy enough to just plug this in and solve. Let's try it then up in the top corner. So y equals minus 7 fifths of x plus 96. That will be our right hand side. And the 9 fifths of x, which is also equal to y, will be our left hand side. Let's write that out. So 9 fifths or 9 over 5 x equals minus 7 over 5 x plus 96. Well now the first thing we're going to do is move our 7 fifths of x over to the left hand side. So I just add a bit of box. We'll get 16 fifths of x equals 96 because 7 over 5 plus 9 over 5 is 16 over 5 and what we get from here we could divide by 16 first to get 1 fifth of x 96 divided by 16 is 6 so 1 fifth of x is 6 and this tells us when we divide Sorry, when we times by 5, times by 5, x is 30. So x here is 30, and we can mark that on our graph. We've solved for x, but we've got one more thing to do, because y is 9 fifths of x. 
So let's plug x equals 30 back into this one to get y equals 9 fifths times by 30. And when we do that, 30, 1 fifth of 30 would be 6 times by 9 would be 54. So we should get along with our x equals 30, our y equals 54. And now we should think then, x is 30, y is 54. Just put that back into our original um, equation or question that we had. So this tells us one kilogram of carrots would be 30p. We're working in pence. So let's put in here C. For one kilogram of carrots would be 30p. And T, one kilogram of tomatoes would be 54 so exactly the same answer as we got earlier but we did this question in two really different ways